Coming up on Saturday, October 5th at the Lincoln Theater in Marion, Virginia, the next live taping of the Song of the Mountains will take place. Here to get us ready for an evening full of bluegrass is the show host, Tim White. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, Chris. I'm yeah. good. Hope you're doing good. I am doing fantastic. Good. Fantastic. Finest frog hair. That's good. <laughs> well, frog hair is good with that rain we had last <laughs> it night. It really yeah. is. Got to keep an eye on that rain. But let's keep an eye on what's going on up at the Lincoln <clears throat> Theater coming up on October 5th. You're going to have some amazing talent on stage. Yeah, uh, we're going to have the Gibson Brothers. This is their first trip to, to our show. Right. But they've been around a long time. Oh, there yeah. they are on the screen look at them but uh, th they're a great uh, dynamic uh, bluegrass band bluegrass gospel write a lot of their own music but uh, great guys I've met them but I've uh, never had them on Song of the Mountains so we're looking forward to October 5th having them and then one of our local favorites who tour the world is the East Tennessee State University Bluegrass Pride Band. Yes. Dan Boner doing a great job over there at ETSU and uh, they've been on the show multiple times but it's been a little while since the Pride Band's been on. So uh, October 5th, the Lincoln Theater in Marion, Virginia, songofthemountains.org for all the information. And uh, coming up next month, uh, or I should say November, we've got Wayne Henderson with the Jeff Little Trio, okay. Larry Sparks. Yep. And then in December, we're going to have uh, my band, all Troublesome right. Holla, and we're, we're going to be there with Authentic Unlimited, which is Doyle Lawson's oh, old wow. band. Used to be Quicksilver, yes. now right. they're uh, Authentic Unlimited. So uh, look at our website, songofthemountains.org, and come see us. You you bring amazing <coughs> talent in, and I think it's great, too, when you have the ETSU and you've got that talent pool over there. You bring those 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 young players in there, for those students in there. They're amazing. Well, they're amazing some musicians. The, some of the best in the world right, right here in Johnson City. It's great to have that talent pool. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, right. a, it's quite amazing. Of course, Jack Toddle started that oh, program yeah. over 30 years ago. I actually took classes with Jack Toddle. You did? Yes, well, sir. Well, you want to sing here? No, 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 no. Nobody <laughs> wants that. Tim. I took classes. <laughs> I passed them by the skin of my teeth, but that was it. Well, but, it's a good program over it there. It is a great program over at ETSU. What yeah. are you going to perform for us this well, morning? I'm going to be with my band over at Mayberry Days this weekend. Okay. Uh, Friday Mount night Airy? at the Earl Theater yeah. in Mount Airy at 930, <laughs> and uh, we're going to do our tribute to Mayberry, so this will be one that we'll do, except I'll be doing it better because I'll have backup. <laughs> but I'll do it with my guitar right here. All right. Whatever happened to Mayberry, like the one they had on the TV, with Andy and Opie and Barney and A.B. Whatever happened to Mayberry? Towns like that you just can't find. A sheriff with no gun and there's no crime. Where the jail's not locked, you come and go as you please. Whatever happened to Mayberry? Whatever happened to Mayberry? Like the one they had on the TV. For Andy and Opie and Barney and Egg B. Whatever happened to Mayberry? The darling boys would come to town. Briscoe's jug would make bluegrass sounds Back on the truck when it's time to leave Whatever happened to Mayberry Whatever happened to Mayberry Like the one they had on the TV With Andy and Opie and Barney and A.B. Whatever happened to Mayberry Say to Goober, get a bottle of pop. Drop by Floyd's, get a little off the top. Not a window was safe round old Ernest T. Whatever happened to Mayberry? 